So today I'm going to talk briefly about the cobalt market um, and I guess uh, many of you might ask why, why would I talk just about the cobalt market on a presentation in Russia. Um, there are assets here obviously but the price of cobalt has doubled since the beginning of the year. Um, it's a market that is, is truly in transition at the moment and I'm going to cover some of the reasons why we think that the price and opportunities in cobalt are going to stay strong in the upcoming period. So in terms of the structure of my presentation, I'm going to introduce the flow of cobalt and how the market works. Talk a little bit about demand because demand for cobalt extends beyond electric vehicles, which is the topic most people think about and in fact is extremely strong in all the end uses. I'm going to talk a little bit about those other end uses and see if we can think who might be the first to substitute away from cobalt if there is um, a long-term increase in price. It's then interesting to turn to the supply side, um, where the bottlenecks will appear and how perhaps those can be resolved over the forecast period. A lot of, a lot of cobalt comes out of the Democratic Republic of Congo and um, it, it comes quite interesting to look at who's actually investing in Congo and who might be controlling the material that's going to be coming out of that area. There's obviously been a lot of interest in the market in terms of uh, charities and organisations who are against um, exploitation of people in mines. Um, however, we think that artisanal mining is going to continue to grow and I'll explain why we think that. And finally, I'll just give an indication of our price forecast so you ha understand how very positive we are about this market at the moment. So demand. Um, th this is divided between the red section, which is metallurgical end uses, and blue, which is non-metallurgical. And then the blue section divided between batteries, indicated as Lion, and then the other sector. And you can see that between 2011 and 2021, that the demand for electric vehicles grows very considerably within that sector. And that's the reason why um, we're going to talk a little bit more about that section. The interesting thing in cobalt is that the material can actually move between the two streams. So historically, the market was entirely metallurgical, relatively high cost. But there's a product that can be made for the metallurgical stream that can also be dissolved in acid and can then form chemical cobalt. The newer, slightly lower cost or, or technologically more advanced way of making cobalt sulfate, cobalt hydroxide direct from the ores, also can produce a powder which can be sintered into a metal. So in terms of understanding the market, it's not as clean cut as a single market for metallurgical and a single market for non-metallurgical actually quite complicated between the two and the two can balance each other at those end stages. So in terms of electric vehicles this is the area that's in the press all the time. We have an extremely positive view of the future of electric vehicles and this is shown in the millions of electric vehicles in the bar chart at the back. We divide them into different kinds, hybrids, plug-in hybrids and pure electric and they all grow over the forecast period very, very strongly, perhaps greater than 35% per annum, given the low base we're on at the moment. 